Hey, 14 minutes after 9 right now. Welcome back to 7 News this Sunday morning. On the menu, we have two things. Spring panzanella salad along with wild arugula pesto. And Chef Gino Maroni from Bisque in Cherry Creek North joins us this morning. Welcome. Your news. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for it. inviting us here this morning. Okay, so we're talking about the wild arugula pesto first. Wild arugula pesto. A what typical is that? pesto is a, a pesto literally translated means a pounded uh, dish or, okay. or a paste. Back, you know, before food processors, we used a mortar and peso and we did it by hand. Right. Today we have this wonderful convenience which allows us to do this. A typical pesto is basil, garlic, uh, some pine nuts, and some Parmesan cheese. And you Today, just mix it all together? And you just blend that together okay. into a nice paste. Today we're going to do a little spring pesto. We have some basil. We have some uh, fresh wild arugula and some baby spinach, and we're going to put all those together in our food processor very, this morning. Very healthy. The arugula is going to give it a nice peppery finish to it, and it won't be quite as sweet as a typical all basil pesto. We're going to put some toasted hazelnuts in ours this morning okay. instead of pine nuts. Okay. A little easier to access and not quite as expensive as pine nuts. Okay. And provide a great flavor. Fresh garlic. Some fresh garlic love. cloves, of course. And then a little bit of shaved Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay. And then we're going to simply put the top on our processor and we're going to pulse it away. Okay. And as we do that, we're going to add olive oil. Okay. To drizzle in there. And the olive oil will pull it all together and make it form a nice pesto or a paste for us. How much should we put as far as olive oil? We're looking at, for the amount we did here, maybe a cup, a cup and a half. Okay. You kind of need to drizzle it in as you go so you can watch it. So you get a nice wow. pesto. You don't want it too runny. Sure. You want to have a nice consistency. That looks good right there. That's fabulous. Beautiful. And it doesn't take long. You look at it. We'll give it a little taste. You can use a pinch of salt and pepper. Okay. So we'll give it a pinch of salt and pepper. We'll pull that up again oh, a couple times. Uh, They're fabulous. <laughs> it took me a long time to get used to them, but I, I use them. Oh, okay. So okay. then we have some beautiful... Fresh wow. spring pesto. Doesn't that look fabulous? That does really Looks good. delicious. And then going with that, we another fabulous dish to go with that. It's the uh, is spring panzanella salad. Spring panzanella salad. salad. So I don't know what that is. What's panzanella? Panzanella salad, salad is a is a, uh, a used to be a peasant dish back in the day in okay. Italy. It was made with day old uh, bread. Um, now it's considered and the some greens and, and tomatoes, of course. Okay. And now it's, of course, you know, became a, a trendy dish. It's very popular. It's a fabulous dish, easy to make. We have um, about 30 seconds you left. You got it. You start off with some onion and we'll chop that up. We throw it in the pan. Along with it, the restaurant, we use our herbed croutons. Uh huh. We're Do you doing put the an olive oil and kind of some stir it olive together? oil okay. in there. We'll put a little olive oil in the bottom of the pan, our hot pan. We'll saute all that up with our onions, our mm -hmm. tomatoes. We'll throw in a little of, uh, excuse me, balsamic vinegar to awesome. finish it off at the end. And then voila. Pinch of salt and pepper. Then we'll plate that on a bed of some bib lettuce, some butter lettuce. That looks awesome. Um, this you does can not also, look like peasant food to me. <laughs> well, you know, excuse me. It doesn't at the restaurant. It's also nice if you'd like to uh, put a little grilled quail on top of it awesome. or, or some... Uh, Garlic shrimp, perhaps, whatever or whatever. You, want. Okay. you can even add a dollop of that beautiful that spring pesto, pesto right on made. top, and it's fabulous. Okay, Chef Gino Moroni from uh, Bisque and Cherry Creek North. You can find their restaurant there. Thank you so much for the Thank recipe. You Go for to our website, the DenverChannel.com. Click on food. Maureen, you're doing dessert next. What's the dessert? I'm going to do a buttermilk orange citrus panna cotta. All right, some lucky you, Maureen, because this is awesome, too. Nice. Look to trade one of these times, Christine. I always luck out with the desserts. I really should share. <laughs> Well, uh, we'll be looking forward to